The origins of the American Constitution, the long struggle for rights and liberties. When it was drafted, the American Constitution was part radical and part conservative. It was radical because in an era of kingdoms and empires, it secured the gains of the American Revolution and it established a new structure of government, a federal republic built on the sovereignty of its people. The Constitution was conservative because it protected the existing rights and liberties of free Americans. The system of British American laws and courts continued. Private property and economic activity continued. Religious worship continued. The political rights of free Americans continued. So, where did Americans' existing rights and liberties come from? Before the American Revolutionary Period, many free Americans thought that their system of government under the British Constitution was the best system in the world. And why wouldn't they? They were the freest and most prosperous people in the world. Free American colonists had partial self-government from the founding of their colonies. But from the beginning, there was uncertainty about the limits of British control over the colonies. By the time of the revolution, a chasm had opened between American and British beliefs about the extent of British control. In the Declaration of Independence, Americans charged King George III with abusing their political rights. They charged him with tyranny. They rebelled and founded an American Republic. 130 years earlier, the English had charged their King Charles I with tyranny. The English Parliament had put him on trial, found him guilty and executed him. Parliament had established an English Republic. After 12 years, the English Republic had collapsed and the English King Charles II was crowned. Charles II and his successor James II established more colonies in America, but they also sought to increase English control of the colonies. In England, the English, with Dutch help, expelled James II in the English Revolution. They established a new English constitution under which Parliament and the English people had many powers and rights which superseded the kings. In America, during the English Revolution, there were major rebellions against the English king in New England, New York and Maryland in the 1760s. For the second time, the British tried to increase their control over the American colonies. For the second time, Americans rebelled against the British. This time, there were far more Americans they were wealthier and better organized. They had French help. So, in the American Revolution, Americans did what their forebears had done at the time of the English Revolution and what the English had done twice in the 1600s. They rebelled to protect and enhance their political rights. The short answer to the question, where did Americans' rights and liberties come from, is that those rights developed throughout the colonial period as a result of the colonists' experience in British America and their understanding of the changes to the British Constitution. The English and American revolutions were both part of a great struggle between a new modern society and the political relics of the medieval world. The English started that struggle, Americans completed it. Of course, as well as understanding where free Americans' political rights came from, we need to understand how the Constitution was devised in the revolutionary period. The American Constitution secured the gains of the revolution and changed the world. But that is a topic for another day. I'm James Phillips, and I've written a book about the origins of the American Constitution. It tells the story of how the Constitution was shaped by the revolutionary period, but also where Americans' political rights came from. The book's title is Two Revolutions and the Constitution, How the English and American revolutions produced the American Constitution. My book has been described as utterly fascinating and an important book thoroughly accessible to readers of all backgrounds. Two Revolutions and the Constitution is available as a book, ebook, and audiobook through all major online platforms. Links to those platforms and to my website are shown here. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll find my book useful. Once you've read it, please leave a comment. In the meantime, if you found this video interesting, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.